Hi, we received a tricky inquiry from one of our customer recently. He need to install a camera both ends from the building. The network video recorder will place in the middle of the building with the PoE switch. And he's facing two challenges. The first challenge is the distance. There's about 1,000 feet from the building to the cameras. As we know, the PoE is limited about 328 feet. Now we are getting about three times longer distance than the regular PoE. The second challenge is the power. The power source is not available at both ends, so you need to use the PoE power over Ethernet to send the power from the NVR to these cameras. As we know, the longer the distance, the more power loss will be. Now we are getting about three times longer than the regular PoE, so we are facing more serious power loss. Most, moreover, there's four cameras at both ends. He just can wire a single Ethernet cable, which means we need to use the single Ethernet cable to handle four cameras' power source. Alright, now let's move the demonstration saw and see how we can handle these challenges. I have posted a free design page in the description below. You can always let me know your question. This is the 1000 feet continue run KFI Ethernet cable. The first challenge we need to handle is the distance, right? Here I'm using the PoE standard, just like this one. The PoE standard can repeat the data network. Two PoE standard working together, we got 1000 feet continue run. The tricky thing is we need to flick the first one, flick the input with the output, because we have the long run chipset equipped with the input. Inventory, we got two input face each other. Now the setup is ready. We got the 1000 feet continue run linking to PoE standard. We handle the data. There's no problem with the data from the network video recorder to the cameras. We got 1,100 megabytes per second. It can handle up to seven IP camera. Eventually, we just will have four cameras, right? This is quite easier. We just need the two PoE standard. The, ch the more challenging thing is the power. Like what we mentioned, we need to send the power over 1,000 feet for four cameras using single Ethernet cable. We cannot use the PoE or PoE Plus switch. The reason is the maximum output from the PoE Plus switch just 30 watt. After we consider the power loss with over the 1,000 feet, the power will be not enough to power all four cameras. So in this case, I'm using this 90 watt PoE injector. This PoE injector can output the 90 watt through a single Ethernet port from the port, nine, port 1 and port 2. So we can use port 1 for the left side and port 2 for the right side. With the 90 watt output from a single Ethernet port, then we will have enough power to power four cameras after 1000 feet long run. Okay, now let me just connect this 90 watt PoE switch back to the system. First, I need to power this switch. The power source is not built in. This is the 180 watt, 180 watt power source. Now it's supplying the power for this PoE switch. The second thing is I need to connect the link the switch back to network video recorder. This is the cable, long run cable from the one end of the camera. Let me just make the connection. We don't see the indicator on. I will explain why. Right. Okay, next thing is let's move to the edge. As we will have four camera, so we need to have some kind of switch. This is the outdoor PoE switch to connect all the camera to the switch, then send, back, send all the video signal back to the network video recorder. This, there's one feature from this switch is the PoE power switch. It can supply the, it can get in the power from another PoE injector or PoE switch. Okay, let me just connect this cable, this punch code to the PoE standard. Once I connect it, if we look closely, we can see the indicators on, which means this network switch is getting the power from the PoE switch. Now we have the whole system up. I think with the camera's live now, yes, the camera's live now. It's a motorized zoom camera. You need to zoom in and zoom out to find the best focus. So in this setup, we have handled the data distance by using the two 
PoE standard to achieve 1,000 feet continuous run. We also use the 90 watt PoE switch to supply the power for all the four cameras. Inventory, we also need to have the outdoor PoE switch, which can be powered by another PoE switch or PoE injector to collect all the video from the four camera and send back to the network video recorder. This is just one side. If we need, we just need to copy all the setting and connect to the port number two and link to the, all the camera for another side. So, all right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post in comment section below. See you next time.